What's up, Scorpio, and welcome to my channel. I hope all of my beautiful, my powerful Scorpios out there are doing well. All right, you guys, we're going to pull up some self-care messages, and then we're going to get into the chakra cards, okay? So if anything resonates for you, don't forget to like, like, share, subscribe, and comment, okay? And anything you need to know about me will be in the description box below, okay? All right, Scorpios, let's go. Okay. So, Scorpio, we have look to fairies, okay? And I feel like this is just saying believe in miracles, okay? These people have wings, okay? So, let's talk about you could be going through a transformation, okay? And this could be a little challenging for you, okay? So, right now, Spirit is wanting you to look for fairies, okay? Look to those mystical beings, okay? To help you, give you the strength maybe to get through some of these obstacles that you're going through, okay? Then we also have create art, okay? Scorpio, creating art, drawing, writing. Some of you guys could be very skilled in writing. You can have a tattoo or something right here on your arm, Scorpio, okay? I feel like something's going to be revealed to you possibly around this first quarter moon. Is that next month, this month? About your art. Something, about this, something that you do with art here, okay? There's something that's going to be be revealed to you, okay? It's going to be the 17th could be significant. Maybe the 17th of, of next month, or maybe this already has been revealed, okay? This could even be about a child. Some of you guys can have a child that's very creative with their artwork, okay? Some of you guys could do nails here. This person's nails are done here. Spirit is saying some of you need to plan a vacation, okay? It's, it's getting Scorpio time, okay? It's about to be our season, so you need to be going and get, you know what I'm saying, planning that flight, whatever you plan on do, okay? Intuitively, you already know, like, oh, child, I need a vacation, okay? And Spirit is saying, go on and start planning that vacation, planning where you want to go, possibly for your birthday. Some of you are already thinking about, I don't know about y'all, I'll be thinking about my birthday as soon as my other birthday, oh, we, you know what I'm saying? And this is going to be a big birthday for me because I am 39, okay? You could be 39 too, Scorpio, but I feel like, you know, big 40 is coming up for me, so this... This birthday is going to be major for me. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like Spirit's talking to me as well. I'm listening, Spirit. Time to go on and plan that vacation, okay? For your birthday. This could be for Christmas. Or the summer, you know, with Scorpio, plan a vacation for you and your family, okay? Get away and enjoy yourself before it's time to go back to school, okay? I feel like some of you, especially with this look to fairies, there can be some challenges or some obstacles that you're experiencing, okay? And Spirit is saying you need to sage, baby. I got my sage right here, okay? Sage, clear your energy field. Clear your sage, your house, Scorpio. Sage yourself. Sage your room, Scorpio. Make sure you're sage in your house that you do have your windows open, okay? Sage your car. Put your windows down to get that negative energy out because all you're doing is keeping that same energy inside with you, okay? But clear your energy field, okay? That could help some of you guys kind of clear maybe some of this negative energy that's kind of kind of around you, okay? All right, Holy Spirit, messages for my Scorpios. What is it that Scorpio needs to know at this time? What is it that Scorpio needs to know, Holy Spirit? What is it that Scorpio needs to know? Let's see one more. 1110, Scorpio, 1117, 10.30. Ooh, abundance. How I know I can see that card? Scorpio, we have abundance, baby. That's why Spirit is wanting you to, <laughs> to clear your energy field, okay? And the problem is, some of you guys, you're on this journey to abundance, Scorpio. And some of you guys, you don't feel like you're going to persevere on this journey. You're like, ooh, child, this, this journey long. I'm tired. I'm thirsty. My feet hurt. You know, it's been a long-ass journey. And I feel like that's why Spirit is saying, please clear your energy field, baby. This journey is not over with. Now, we got two people here. Okay, so we got... Hold on. Someone here, Scorpio, has lost some money. Like, they can have you experiencing some type of money block. 
And then it's like on your side, Scorpio, you. It was like someone here, like there was some type of treasure, some type of path they were supposed to be going on, okay? And this is what's going to help them be very abundant, right? But someone here, maybe they were focused on material things. And I feel like, Scorpio, you were not. Like you found this treasure. Like there was a hidden treasure here, okay? Or I feel like this path, like you were shown that abundance is going to be at the end of this path, okay? And, and I feel like it's been a long journey. You've been trying to persevere. You've been trying to tell yourself, like, ooh, at the end of this path, at the end of this journey, at the end of this road, I know what's going to be. I'm going to be very abundant. And I feel like someone else here was shown the same path, but they didn't do something right, okay? And now it's like their money is blocked, and I feel like abundance is going to be open to you, okay? Some of you guys could be moving because we got this for sale sign, or maybe you're trying to sell a house. Let's look at this, Scorpio. All right, now, that's how you start off. I love my spirit letter start off good now, okay? Okay. It's like somebody else is... Someone else's lost treasure. Like, like you're like a lost treasure here. And someone's going to find some type of lost treasure. Someone here, it, this has to do with a relationship to money. Net money is, okay, so some of you, maybe these, maybe what you've been experiencing is some type of money blocks in your life. Me too, Scorpio, okay? But I feel like it's like, what is your connection to money? Because money is going to be naturally attracted to those who that are appreciative of money and those that show gratitude, okay? Someone here could be using their financial situation as an excuse to avoid something. And it's like maybe someone's thoughts and actions around money are empowering. It's either empowering someone to like really work, work on themselves and to focus on some things so that they can can be great, okay, or this connection that someone has with money is this empowering them, okay, because all their focus is just on money here, okay? It's like someone here, I feel like it's materialistic, it's like their whole focus is on money. Meanwhile, Scorpio, yours is not, it's like you're working hard for yours. It's like your whole focus, like you know that you need money, but at the same time, you're willing to work for it, but you don't praise money. Like, this is the energy of someone here who worships and praises money here, okay? And now they lost their mind. They drinking and shit because they're experiencing some type of money block. Y'all look at this card. Abundance is through gratitude. I feel like, Scorpio, even though money ain't been good for you, you always show, you always were appreciative. You was like, oh, Lord, I know I ain't got number two dollars in the bank, but I'm just thankful I got some two dollars, Lord. I know <laughs> you, like, you always were thankful. You know, even though you fussed, even though you made a complaint, you still always show gratitude for what you had, okay? You may not have no money in the bank, but you was like, oh, Lord, at least all my bills paid. You know what I'm saying? We ain't sitting in the dark, Lord. You know what I'm saying? We can take a bath tonight, Lord. We can wash our ass because our bills are paid. And I feel like that's why you're going to be very abundant. Like, you and someone else had different connections to money. I feel like your connection, Scorpio, is going to empower you. And this person's connection is going to disempower them, okay? And they're going to experience some type of financial loss or some type of money loss, okay? Now, I feel like for you, Scorpio, this is sideways. I feel like you don't, you need encouragement, especially on this journey. Because I feel like, especially now, you guys, what is this love and war? This is Venus and Mars. It's like love and war right now, okay? Some of you guys, we've been having issues with relationships, and you also been having issues with your money, okay? And they have relationship problems and money problems. Like, hell yeah, that's a big ass problem, okay? And I feel like this journey has been kind of rough, okay? But your spirit team right there, baby, telling you, you're going to be all right, Scorpio, we got you. You know what I'm saying? They wanted you to be more creative, okay, with this sacred chakra. Show your emotions. Even if you don't feel like, Scorpio, you going to persevere. It's okay to say that. It's okay to feel that, okay? But don't get hung up on those emotions to where you let it overpower you, okay? I feel like your angels and your spirit guides are helping you because her head is, is hung low. Like, she really feels discouraged. And I feel like your angels and your spirit guides are here trying to lift you up, trying to encourage you 
on this journey, baby, because what's going to be at the end of your path is abundance, okay? Just continue to show gratitude when it comes to money. Don't make money be everything. I know I made a post one day and said, we, yes, we're money, money motivators, like money does motivate us, and that's good. But you don't let money be everything, okay? You don't let it control you and overpower you. You don't want to be that green-eyed devil, that green-eyed monster, right? All right, Holy Spirit, tell us more. What does Scorpio need to know? Or am I supposed to be clarified? Okay, one more and then clarify. Okay. Service, yeah. I feel like, Scorpio, you provide a service. Maybe your job here is kind of tiring. But I feel like there's some 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 loved ones and someone that's passed on, possibly a grandmother here. Like someone here is is helping you or, or protecting you. Like whoever this person is, this guardian angel, this could be a loved one that's passed on here. Let's look at orange. Orange, I know it's a sacral shopper. I feel like some of you guys feel like you're a failure. Maybe maybe you've had to be caring. You've been caring for your family. You've been caring for, like I said, there could have been a sick grandmother, father here. Like you you were been busy taking care of other people. And then it's like outside of your home, outside of what you do at home, like you feel like a failure. You feel like you're not doing anything else. Like you're not succeeding here, okay? This has to do with creating things. How does the idea of service inspire you? I feel like Spirit is trying to tell you that you're supposed to be providing a service, okay? How can you make the best of your present situation, okay? What can you give? This talks about finding contentment, finding the joy in service, okay? I feel like some of you, maybe what you do for work, you know what I'm saying? Like you don't, you provide a service, you work hard, but it's like you don't see that fi financial blessing. You don't see that reward that you thought that you were going to receive. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you're going to be very abundant, but it's just taking a long time to get in this energy here. Okay. Let's pull on this. Let's tell us about abundance, Holy Spirit. Messages for my Scorpios. What do they need to know? Tell us about abundance. Let's clarify what's going on here. Messages, tell us about abundance, Holy Spirit. Yeah, this abundant Scorpio is going to give you the sun. Look at this. This is the best card out the whole freaking deck, Scorpio. This talks about good fortune, great fortune, okay? Abundance coming your way, okay? This energy, Scorpio, of abundance is going to bring you lots of joy, lots of happiness here, okay? The 19th, do I say the 19th? Could be significant here. This talks about good, good vibes, good energy, Scorpio, feeling happy, feeling content, joy here. I don't know, I got to go back. Sun, the star. Oh, that dog. Okay. Yeah. This talks about being able to celebrate Scorpio, okay? This abundance, you're going to be able to celebrate this, okay? You're going to have good health, okay? Like those career and finance readings you got are very important, okay? Good health and wealth goes hand in hand, okay? Because you've achieved some type of milestone here in your life. And that's why Spirit is one of you two parts of your baby. Because when you do, when you receive this abundance, Scorpio, it's because you achieved some type of major milestone in your life. Something I feel like some of you guys, your own family here, like whatever you're doing, baby, you're doing something outside of your family and friends, your family, okay? Your family hasn't even going to achieve this milestone that you're about to achieve, okay? Tell us about Persevere, Holy Spirit. Messages for my Scorpios. Tell us who. Yeah, because Justice Scorpio, you're going to be highly favored right here. And that's why Spirit is saying Persevere. The outcome for you, Scorpio, is going to be favorable here, okay? I know you're looking at yourself and you're reflecting on what you've been through and how long this journey been and everything, okay? But you will get your karmic justice, Scorpio, okay? And the outcome of that karmic justice, baby, it's going to be the sun. Like, you're going to get no better than the sun, baby. And that's why Spirit is telling you guys, it's okay you hang your head low, 
Okay, it's okay to feel down. It's so it's okay to feel your feelings. Okay, but don't don't lay on them shits. Don't stay in that shit forever because you're not gonna be there forever. Okay, it's just a moment. It's just a time that we go through. Okay, it's important to say Scorpio, clear your energy field so that you can get back on this horse and ride again, baby. All right, tell us about service, Holy Spirit. Messages for my Scorpios. I love you guys. Tell us about service. Strength, yeah. You're lacking faith and courage in yourself. And I feel like it's the service. It's something that you're supposed to be doing. Maybe some of you guys, you don't know what you're supposed to be doing. Maybe you do know. Or maybe it's because of, of you've just been doing things at the house. Like you're ready to get outside side of the house like you feel like everything that you do is just based on your home life if you didn't have anything outside of home you wouldn't have anything else okay and that's why you lack courage in yourself but some of you don't realize like so that's for some of you that's what you're supposed to be doing okay not saying that you're going to be doing that forever but there's going to be a change but just just motivate yourself and know that what you're doing baby don't lack courage and confidence this is not the time to let that, okay? Be motivated. Have that strength. Have that courage so that you can endure this race, baby, because it's all a race. At the end, baby, you will have abundance, and you will achieve this major milestone in your life, okay? All because you did something differently here, okay? All right, Scorpio. That's all I have, you guys. I love you, Scorpio. And until next time, baby, Stay blessed. I didn't feel there was no need to do no signs like that wasn't this type of reading. You know what I'm saying? Let's pull one of these angel mess. Wait, let's leave Scorpio off with an angel. Let me look at this. I split the deck, Scorpio. Look at this. 888. Eight, eight. I can't make none of this up. Y'all seen this? Look at this. I split the deck, Scorpio. I was like, let me get an angel number. 888, okay? As you focus on all the wonderful things that surround you, you're clearing the path for more positive energy to flow into all areas of your life and creating, remember I kept saying, creating a place for abundance, Scorpio. All spirit wants you to do is persevere so that you can experience. It ain't over with, babe, okay? Still gonna be a little journey. Still gonna be a little rough, but as long as you persevere and tell yourself you are gonna be all right and have faith and know you are gonna be all right, baby, you are gonna get this abundance, okay? <laughs> all right, Scorpio, that's all I have. I love you, Scorpio. Until next time, baby, stay blessed.